This is a new Canon 10 times Servo CineZoom 25 to 250 millimeters. The Cinema 5D Virtual Show is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video, and photo solutions. Atomos, better monitoring, better recording. Sattler, set your ideas in motion. And Fomex, devoted to remarkable light. Welcome everybody to the Cinema 5D virtual show, our replacement for the NAB that never happened. And uh, today I'm talking to Paul Atkinson from Canon. How are you, Paul? I'm good, thank you. Like everybody else, I'm trying to uh, make the best of the situation we find ourselves in. That's how it is. Um, yeah, you guys just introduced the C300 Mark III. We talked about that in another video, but you also introduced a new lens, the 25 250 Servo CineZoom. What can you tell me about it? So this is a lens that joins the two existing ones, the CN7 and the CN20, um, with a, uh, a focal length range of 25 to 250 millimeters, um, but also features a built-in 1.5 times extender. Uh, this makes it an extremely useful lens across a range of, of applications from um, cinema to natural history, wildlife, uh, drama documentary, that's that, and drama. Um, but also able to be used in a variety of shooting situations. So whether we're on a tripod or off the shoulder, on location, it's a really versatile lens um, that um, covers a super 35 mil sensor, but can also uh, cover a full frame sensor while using the built-in 1.5 times extender. So a really versatile lens across a wide range of applications. So we already had the 17120 servo zoom, which is a very, very popular um, mm -hmm. Zervo Zoom. I've used it a lot on different productions and I think it's one of the most versatile in terms of um, what you need as a documentary filmmaker, which is what I mostly shoot. Uh, but sometimes it's not long enough. Uh, so I guess this is where the new one comes in. Yeah, so you've, apart from having the slightly extended uh, normal zoom range, it's got a built-in 1.5 times extender as well. Um, and that pushes it out to uh, 375 mil at the top end. So the target users for this lens is also broadcast documentary filmmakers, so who do, who do you have in mind? Exactly right. Um, so the broadcast and documentary filmmakers, but because of the versatility of the lens and the way that you can take the servo unit off, it lends itself quite nicely into drama production and cine production, where you'd want to use traditional fo uh, manual focusing as well. So it's a very, again, a very versatile lens across the entire sort of uh, focal length range. What is the T-stop or F-stop of the lens? Um, it's uh, T2.95 um, between 25 and 187 millimeters, and then T3.95 uh, for the rest of the range. Um, when you put in the 1.5 times uh, extender, uh, that becomes a T4.4 at the lower end up to 5.9 at the upper end. So that makes it comparable with the CN20 sort of uh, a range of T-stops. So this is a super 35 millimeter zoom lens, right? It is. Um, all our cine zooms and cine servo zooms are engineered to uh, suit the super 35mm sensor. With this lens, however, it, once you activate the um, extender, then you get full frame coverage as well, which means that the C500 Mark II and the C700FF, for instance, um, it, it becomes then fully compatible with those cameras as well. And that extender is built in? That's correct, yeah. It's a built-in extender, optical extender at the rear of the lens. So the servo unit, I understand, can also be detached. Is that something users can do? Is that something you can you have to send it in? No, it's a completely user uh, operation. Um, you can just detach it yourself if you need to, as I said, and then it becomes compatible with the industry standard follow focus and uh, zoom demand controllers that you can get. Let's talk about the communication of this lens. How does it communicate with the camera and what standards does it support? So the um, EF mount lens um, will have the normal EF com uh, connections on there. This gives you the ability to use a lot of the EF functions. So uh, things like uh, chromatic aberration, um, things like your uh, focal length and your autofocus settings as well, depending on whether you're in manual autofocus settings. Um, and we also have Cook Eye technology built in there as well, um, which is um, used on the PL mount versions. So a very versatile lens. And then we have the 12-pin uh, connector at the back as well. 
Uh, in terms of powering the lens, if I use that on a, on a, on a C300 Mark III, for example, uh, I would have to use the extension unit, right, in order to be able to, to get power. Yeah, that's correct. So you'd need to fit the uh, expansion unit too, um, which has the correct connection on the back of that unit. Uh, you mentioned the mounts already, so there are different mounts available? Yep, um, it'll be available both as an EF or a PL mount version. Um, however, you can uh, get the mount changed, but this is uh, this is not a user operation. This needs to go to a, a Canon service center or authorized service center uh, and will be a paid for service. And now the, to the most exciting part, how much is this going to cost? Um, you're looking at around about 27,500 euros ex tax and availability we're looking around July. All right. Thank you so much, Paul. Okay, no worries. And, uh, best of luck. Yeah, and hopefully we see each other again at the actual trade show soon. I IBC, I'm still confident we'll, we'll see you at IBC. I'm slowly losing hope that this is going to happen, but yeah, otherwise the <laughs> rest the rest of the year will be like this. It will, but we'll see. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Okay, take care, Dina. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Cinema 5D for more from our virtual show, our replacement for NAB and Fotokina, which also, unfortunately, has been cancelled. But uh, we're doing our best to keep you updated on all the new developments and all the new products and also a lot of talks with filmmakers. Please stay tuned. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and best of luck.